Hello everyone, it's Kimi again. Welcome to today's tutorial where we will learn the important techniques from making buttercream cakes and icing. It's really important to learn these basic skills because they uh, separate the experts from the beginners. When we use the right icing techniques that match our floral decorations or designs, our cake will look even more beautiful and attractive. Before we start, let's move to the uh, helpful tips on storage buttercream. When you have a leftover buttercream, it's important to store it properly. Seal it tightly and keep it in the refrigerator or freezer. This prevents any unwanted smells from getting absorbed. Also, when you want to reuse the hardened buttercream, let it come uh, to the room temperatures and soften completely. Don't try to use it if it's still hard or only partially melted, as apply the pressure with the spatula might cause the oils to separate and water to the foam. If you live in cold weather like Australia right now, even at room temperature, buttercream might not soften easily. But here is a solution if you are facing this problem, you can try a little tricks. Set your oven to the low temperature around 40 to 50 degrees and turn off the oven and place the buttercream inside. This gently warming uh, will help the uh, buttercream soften and other options is to fill a bowl with a hot water and put it in the microwave. Just be careful and check the temperature uh, frequently to make sure it doesn't get too hot and melt. Lastly, let's talk about the technique to reduce the bubble in your buttercream. Before you apply the buttercream, it is a good idea to mix it with a spatula. This step helps to get rid of any air bubbles in your buttercream, giving you a smoother and more professional looking finish. I hope these revisions make uh, instructions easier to understand. If you have any more parts and questions that you like me to help with, please let me know. Let's focus on an important step called the crumb coat before icing the cake. Its purpose is to secure the cake and prevent visual crumbs in the final icing. Nobody wants a mess on even cake, so this step is essential for the beautiful result. Although it might take some time, it's worth, worth for the well-finished cake. To begin, prepare the cake base and apply a small amount of buttercream onto the cake board. Then place the cake in the center and gently press it down and hold it in uh, place securely. Next, apply a generous amount of cream onto the cake base using a spatula. Make sure to spray the cream evenly by using both sides of the spatula while uh, rotating the cakes on the turntable. Now it's time to layer the cake sheet. Place another layer on top and ensure it aligned properly. To check it, uh, if the sides are level, rotate the turntable. Gently press down on the top of the cake to secure it. Repeat these uh, steps for the remaining cake layers. Add the next seat on top and apply a thin layer of the cream, covering both uh, the top and side of the cake. Now place the cake in the refrigerator for around 20 minutes. So today we are going to learn 6 icing cake technique. Number 1 is basic icing which is the foundation of cake icing. Start by placing the crumb coated cake in the center of the turntable. 
Wire turning the turntable, spray the cream evenly over the top of the cake. Keep the spatula parallel to the top of the cake and use both sides of the spatula blade to spray the cream, applying gentle and pressure. Next, move on to the icing the side. Fold the spatula vertically and spray the cream along the side of the cake. Again, keep the spatula parallel to the side of the cake and use both blades uh, to spray the buttercream, applying the gentle pressure. Ensure that the cream on the side is spread slightly higher than the top of the cake. To achieve the smooth finish, using a sliding motion from the outside to the center of the cake to arrange the cream on top surface. If the weather is cold, the buttercream might harden quickly. In this case, you can soften the buttercream by soaking the spatula or cake scraper in hot water. Apply the buttercream to any empty space on the cake. For the final icing, wipe off any remaining buttercream from the sp uh, spatula or the cake scraper and then apply a finishing icing. Next, let's move on to the vertical icing. Put the cake you made earlier on the turntable. Now shape the side of the cake in a straight pattern using a spatula. Hold the spatula upright, gently press it against the side, and lift it up a bit using the tip. This technique will give the cake a clean and modern look. Remember to keep applying the same amounts of uh, pressure throughout. Number three, here is a technique for shaping the cake's side with a diagonal line. This time, we will add a different color cream at the bottom to give it a contrasting effect. Tilt the spatula slightly and press it diagonally from the bottom to top with the same amount of force. Next, uh, number four. Now let's try a rustic icing style. Take a small amount of buttercream on the spatula and apply it to the side uh, alternatively after smoothing the icing with a scraper. Gently press the side of the cake without removing the excess cream. Let's move on to the gradient icing. Start by making buttercream using two different colors. Begin by spreading the first color of buttercream on the side of the cake, then apply the second color randomly. Using a spatula to smooth it out while keeping the spatula vertical, repeat the same process for the top of the cake. Fill any empty space with a more buttercream. Finally, wipe off the excess buttercream from the spatula and apply a final layer of icing.
Number six, now let's try marbling icing. Start by making buttercream with a two different color. The cake is about four inches tall and seven inches in diameter. Get a piece of parchment paper ready. Fold the bottom of the parchment paper slightly and fold both sides as well. Considering the length need for uh, the 7 inch cake, which is a roughly 50 to 52 cm. Take a small amount of buttercream using a spatula and spread it evenly on the parchment paper. Ensure both colors are spread evenly using the spatula to create an even surface. Place the parchment paper with the buttercream to the side of the cake. Gently press and rub it against the cake. Keep the cake to the refrigerator and let it chill. So after 50 to 20 minutes, remove the cake from the fridge and carefully roll up the parchment paper. If there are not enough cream on the side, apply more and if the cream is too long, you can trim it using a knife or a spatula or even hands to cut them. Today we learned the basic icing technique and five icing techniques in great details. Thank you so much for joining us on this cake decorating journey. I hope these tutorials have been helpful and inspiring you. Let's do your cake bloom and bring joy to your day. Blossom your cake, blossom your day. I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.